Won't be your client for long if you don't show up on time. You're late. Come on. You called me here totally out of the blue. Chill out, maybe. Oh. Oh, and I'm getting a drink. And I'm paying? Let's call it a business expense. Here's a familiar face. Kyohei Hamura, from the Matsugane family. I ran into him earlier, actually. Ticket he's your client? Yep. Got hauled in earlier. They're charging him with murder. Seriously? Seriously. So, the Matsugane patriarch came to us for his defense. Genda-sensei is the go-to guy for all his legal problems, you know? How'd you end up in the driver's seat, then? Genda-sensei gave him my card. Gotta say... <laughs> Not looking forward to defending a Yakuza. Double oop. Tough luck, I guess. <clears throat> anyway, you're coming with me to the station. Need to have a word with Hamura. You got way more Yakuza experience than me, after all. I yeah, suppose I do. Let me give you a rundown of the case first. The victim was a Yakuza. A Kansai guy. Part of the Kyori clan. They found his body tossed Remember him? After. Just about a week ago. Hold on. This is... The guy who got his eyes gouged out? Mm. Yep. Cops think Hammer is the one who did it. Hell of a case, man. This is the third Yakuza they've found like this. Fortunately, we're not dealing with a triple homicide here. So the media isn't swarming. Hmm? Hammer's got an alibi for the first two incidents. This third murder is the only one they're pinning on him. So they won't admit the cases are connected? No. Makes sense. Three bodies and not a single suspect isn't exactly given the cops credibility. Guess they just want to get this case closed and move on. Even if they have to force it through. And hey, the victim was Yakuza. Nobody really cares who hangs for it. Ooh. Clever thinking rewarded. Um, the conversations progress. You may come across the point. Oh no, this is this is life is strange all over again. Uh, during the critical thought process, you'll, be, you'll gain SP. You uh, can select the best choice to gather information as quickly and effectively as possible. If you choose unwisely, you'll lose your chance to gain the SP bonus. When you have the chance to gain a bonus, number of good choices will show up at the top right of the screen. Uh, the number of stars uh, displayed represent the number of good choices. Uh, what? Uh, Why'd they come after Hamura, of all people? Two reasons. First, the victim was a Kansai Yakuza from a group that's been making inroads in Kamurocho and picking fights with the Tojo clan along <clears> the way. <throat> Odds are this was a Tojo guy wanting to send a message. And as you know, Hamura fits the bill. Well, everybody and just get reason, along. Hamura and the victim were seen having a fight on the day of the crime. I'm guessing there's security camera footage then. Has Hamura said anything to you? Yeah. He told me he didn't do it. Claimed the cops were falsely accusing him. So he insists he's innocent, huh? I think I know enough. We should get to the station. Mm -hmm. You go on ahead. I got some calls to make first. Just take a cab there. I want to walk through the streets and fight some more geezers. Let's go for this. In fact, I'm going to talk to this lovely lady. Um, the impossibility case file. Uh. Okay. Leaving already, Doc? And only one drink in. What can I say? I'm a busy man. Funny you should say that. Another customer of mine has a job for you. Ugh. Tell you about it when you're not so swamped, okay? Hey, I'm not about to pass up a paying gig. Then come back when you and Shintani Sensei are done. Already, I'm booked and busy. I just can't escape the busy lifestyle. What can I say? The graphics are stunning. Oh, we got a lot. Okay. We got a lot of places to visit today. Oh, that's just calling a taxi. Okay, let's go this way. You taxi, please.
I mean, Uber, right? Hello? What's the money going on? That's expensive. That's expensive. We just keep running into each other tonight, eh, hey, Doc? Why the long face? hammer son. Uh, I'm Shintani from the Genda Law Office. The Matsugane family asked us to represent you. And I'm glad you said yes, Shintani-sensei. We're gonna get along real good. Just like my boss and Genda-sensei. Uh, right. Well, let's get started. I'll be taking point, while Yagami here will be doing the legwork to try and back up your claims. No better guy to do it. I'll do what I can. Shaping, hello. I'm good, thank you. So, How are you? They brought you in Happy Friday. suspicion of murder. Can you tell me more about that? Huh? What do you want to know? Whether or not you killed the guy. Does it really matter? Your job's getting me out of this mess, regardless of the truth. Ooh. No. Because if I find out you actually did it... You'll drop me? Then yes. I'll make sure the prosecution puts you away for life. This is bullshit! Just like you did that serial killer, huh? Uh, Yagami? All the evidence at the time pointed to Shinpei Okubo being innocent. That's why I chose to trust him. But then, that Okubo guy... Well, he proved us all wrong. Murdered his girlfriend in cold blood. Come on, Tom. Uh, thank you, it's good to Let's see you. Let's be honest about what you were really focused on at the time. You wanted that precious acquittal so bad, you didn't even stop to think you were setting a murderer loose, right? What happened to innocent until proven guilty? Try saying that to Emmy Terasawa's parents. That's why you quit, right? You couldn't face him. Oh. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> you think, um... Uh... We could maybe get back to the case. Now sure. kiss. Why not? You good to go? Damn it. Guess it's just part of the job. I'm fine. Keep going. My apologies. Now, <clears throat> let's start with the victim. Well, hello, Tushin my love. How are you? 34 at his time of death. A member of the Kansai-based Kyori clan. Around 6 a.m. on the 4th of December, the police got a 110 call from someone who found his corpse in a pile of garbage. I hear you and this Kume had some kind of argument before he died. Yep. Did the police say what evidence points to you being the killer? Do they have anything substantial? <clears throat> nope. Bastards are keeping their lips sealed. Ain't that right, Shintani-sensei? Yes. At this point in the investigation, the cops won't tell me what they've got against you. They're supposed Your to. Your words are the only thing we'll have till the trial. <laughs> is what it is. Anything else you want to ask, Yagami? You have an alibi? What time did they think Kume died? Apparently between two and three in the morning. The cops were drilling me real hard about where I was around then. And? Where were you? At a sauna. A spot called Sauna Goten. A sauna? I'm getting a steam. Mm. But there's no proof you were actually there, huh? Well, otherwise you wouldn't be in here. Pretty much. Someone should have seen something, though. Who's the detective in charge of the case? Oh, no! Kuroiwa, from Organized Crime. Shintani-sensei is probably real familiar with him. I am. More so because he's one of those brutes with a badge. Pretty sure the Kyori murders are his case. I can't stand him. Guy doesn't give a rat's ass about Yakuza. 
Where did you and Kume have your fight? I lost my bonus. Out in front of a club, Amor, over on Supon Street. Me and a few Matsugani boys had a little run-in with a Kiori guy. Turns out that was your boy, Kume. And who started the fight? Who do you think? I'm not gonna let some Kansai punk strut around like he owns the place. I'd already thrown a few drinks back at that point, too. What time did this all go down? Just past nine. So what happened after you and Kume had your standoff? Went your separate ways? Nah, he tried to split, but I had my boys grab him. Dragged him into a moor. <clears throat> what? I... I thought it was just a little scuffle, though. You're saying you abducted Kume on a crowded public street? Yep, a 